This video is for you if you feel like you have a chronically tight groin. What's it all about? What can you do about it? Well, I'm gonna lay out a bunch of my favorite drills for this, uh, both some stretching and massage drills, as well as some strengthening exercises for those muscles to improve your range of motion that way. Uh, and then I'm gonna link below to a little article that's gonna have a kind of a sample program that you can actually follow. So if you have a tight groin, stay strapped in, here we go. Um, first thing that we wanna do, I think, is do a little bit of self-massage on the buffer. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can get one for pretty cheap. And if you don't have one, well, I'm gonna show some other options. So this is just a car buffer. It's really soft. Um, what you're gonna do is just work. Actually, you probably can't hear while this is on. What you're gonna do is just work that entire area um, right from the crease of your hip all the way down to the knee, bunch of different angles, and just work it back and forth. It feels good, I just don't want to stop. <laughs> so, two tips on this. Number one, don't let this thing hit your balls, it will not feel good. And number two, spend at least two, three minutes on each side, right? More is better on this, and try to get in on those spots that feel nice and tight. Second massage option, uh, which is also excellent, this one's gonna get in a little bit deeper. It's, you might not wanna do it every single day, unless, at least not really, really hard because of that. The buffer you can do like every day or even multiple times a day is gonna be like this. Take a kettlebell or something hard like this. You're gonna lay on your side and you're gonna start just right by the knee. I'm just right on that inside of the leg and I'm gonna extend and flex my leg a bunch of times. If I'm on an area that feels really tight and stiff, I'm gonna do it more. If I'm on an area that feels pretty good, I'm gonna do a couple passes and then move on. And then I'm just gonna move you know, one or two inches up higher on my leg, do the same thing, move up a little bit more, and so on. I'm going maybe a little faster than or I ordinarily would. I'd spend about three, maybe even four minutes uh, per side. As you get closer up toward the crease of the hip, you definitely want to get into all that gristle that connects to the hip, but you may need to basically get up and essentially just mount the kettlebell. At this point, it's a little harder sometimes to do the leg thing, so you, you could do that if it works, and you can also basically just rotate your body. So you're essentially sawing the kettlebell handle across all those different fibers and making sure you hit all of those different angles. Get right up into that crease of the hip, get right up into your business um, when you do this one. So once you've done that self-massage and you've kind of loosened up those tissues a little bit, um, and you should be able to already feel a little bit of a difference, like if you did a squat before that and you did a squat after, you should feel like you have a little more space. The next drill, which I absolutely love, is uh, sort of a lunge type of a drill. So here's the key details to make this work for you. I'm gonna be kneeling with one leg down. The leg that's down is the groin that I'm emphasizing in this stretch. So you'll do both, but this is the one that we're gonna focus on first. Instead of being straight on, I'm gonna bring this leg to about 45 degrees. And as I do this, I wanna keep my abs and bum nice and tight. So what I'm gonna do, most of my weight is on this left side. I'm lunging this way. I should feel a stretch here. If you're feeling a stretch in this leg, chances are the foot is too far this way and you just need to bring it in. So make that adjustment if you need to. I'm trying to keep my body square, so I'm not, I don't wanna tip or do anything weird. Once I get to the point where I feel a stretch in this groin, I'm gonna use this leg to actually pull me back up. So this leg is controlling the whole movement and this, so this adductor is controlling the movement. I go in, I pull myself in, pause for a second, pull myself back. You can do that with no weight, or if it feels better, you can actually add a little bit of weight. This can help you go a little bit further into the stretch. Just hold a kettlebell or something like that in here. Pull yourself in, pause, pull yourself back. Do about 10 reps like that. You can also try a variation where you go further to the side. So I just bring my leg out further, and this time I'm just going in the direction of this leg out, stretch, back, and again, just adjust your position so you feel it in this side. Obviously, do both legs, but this is a great warm-up drill. If you do this a couple sets in your warm-ups before squats or anything where this needs to be loose, you will definitely feel better. This is a groiner drill. As the name sounds, it is going to stretch your groin. So you're gonna walk one foot up outside and beside your hand. You're gonna sink your entire body down to the floor and you wanna keep that constant downward pressure. And then I'm gonna push my hip out and back 
in sort of a circular motion. So I'll do like 10 to 20 circles on one side, and then I'll switch sides. This back knee can either be up or on the floor. It really does not matter. So whatever is comfortable for you. But you're just going to stay down and work that position um, a bunch of times. You're going to feel it all through here. You can play around with the angle. So maybe it feels better if this foot's further out or further uh, forward. Or maybe it doesn't. So tweak it to what feels the best for you. I also like to throw in some variations like a wide stance squat. I'll do this with a little pause in the bottom. You can do this with a little bit of weight, just holding it in the chest and coming up. Right, Only going just as low as you sort of can. Right, working on improving that over time. I also like to do wide stance, kind of like hip hinges. So just sitting back into this, pausing, coming back up. Right, maybe do 10 reps of each. And then Cossack squats are your friend here. So you can do it with body weight or with a uh, dumbbell or kettlebell there. Just sitting into this position, coming up, sitting in as deep as you can. Um, all of those drills are fantastic uh, for working on stretching out the groin. Another sequence that's great, in, again, in your warm-ups or even as a cool down, is to do some work with kind of like a slider. If you have like a furniture slider on a slick surface that works, if you don't, just grab a iron plate and put it on something smooth, like a weightlifting platform or the aerobic section of a gym. And what you're going to do is put one foot on that. You're going to have one anchor leg. That's really the one that you're working. You're going to slide this out as far as you can and then pull yourself back up on this leg right so i'm stretching the groin here pulling myself back through and just work with a comfortable range of motion you can also hit some different angles so i can kind of go back on sort of a 45 degree oops it got stuck on the get the idea anyway play around with that um, and I'll put some more details into the actual written program for how you can incorporate that. So those are my favorite sequences and drills for improving your groin flexibility. And again, I'm going to put an actual program that you can follow in the link below. But that should give you some ideas about how to start. You want to do some self-massage. You want to do some kind of active stretches. And you want to do some actual exercises where you are working on bringing that groin through a full range of motion and developing strength in the end range so you have uh, more control there and that's actually going to be a key factor in improving your flexibility so your body will allow you to go further and further as it understands that it has strength and control in those extreme ranges of motion.